to this plant and joins us live. How much cheaper is biodiesel, Dan? Yeah, market shot. According to the maker, biodiesel fuel can be 25 cents cheaper a gallon. So instead of 419 at the pump you see here, you could see 396. But that's for 100% biodiesel fuel. Right now, most fuel stations only have about 5% of it. This company hoping to be able to increase that rate. We started in 2007. Out here in the open fields in Box Elder County, near the Idaho border. This is a diesel fuel. Is a business called Washaki Renewable Energy, or WRE. This is where they take used cooking oil, or animal fat. This is an example of an animal fat and turn it into fuel for diesel vehicles. It's called biodiesel fuel, and it's 25 cents a gallon cheaper than what you'd pay at the pump for diesel. Last year, WRE pumped out 10 million gallons, or about 800,000 gallons a month, of biodiesel fuel. The critical thing with biodiesel is it uh, uh, addresses the greenhouse gas reduction issue. WRE claims they remove 170 million pounds of carbon, out of the atmosphere a year by vehicles using its alternative fuel source. I think it's a really uh, good product. Perry Matthews is with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. His team is visiting the plant to see if they once again qualify for a federal grant or loan as an alternative energy saving business. Matthews says there are 19 projects or businesses that have been financed in Utah under the energy savings program by the U.S. government. And he says there is more money out there to be given. Well, any project that makes economic sense, you know, we would like to visit with them and a lender and try to finance those energy projects. The grants are helping WRE to get new equipment that will allow them to double the number of gallons they produce and hire an additional 30 employees in the next few weeks. Their goal in pumping out millions of more gallons of alternative fuel? We're hoping the, the price reduction will pass on to the consumer. Now, WRE is the, the only biodiesel plant here in Utah, and it's hoping to be able to open up some full service biodiesel uh, fuel stations out there in Box Elder County. Now, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, they still have more grants available for other businesses that are in the business of trying to save energy. Those grants can, uh, or if you want to learn about those grants, you can call the U.S. Department of Agriculture here in Salt Lake City. Mark, Shauna, back to you. All right, Dan.